Although no full-scale production plant for biobutanol presently exists, we are able to produce it in the lab, and a full-scale plant would operate on the same principles. The raw material co-products from the whisky industry, draft and pot ale are stored in separate tanks, with the pot ale being constantly agitated to prevent sedimentation. The draft and pot ale are prepared for fermentation by mixing them together with an acid and heating with steam to 120 degrees in a pressurised container. This aggressive process breaks down the draft. The mixture is then cooled through a heat exchanger and passed to the fermentation tanks. Caustic is added to raise the pH. Enzymes and bacteria are added and fermentation begins. The enzymes break down the complex sugars released from the draft and the bacteria convert these to solvents, acetone, butanol and ethanol. Fermentation also produces gases, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. These are recovered and purified. Fermentation takes around 48 hours. At the end of fermentation, the liquid then passes through a still. This process will separate several high-value elements. The still, which is run on steam from the same boiler used earlier in the process, produces an initial rough spirit, which is then passed through a condenser and distilled twice more at a higher temperature in purification columns. The three main products, acetone, ethanol and butanol, all have separate boiling points and are collected and stored separately. The spent washes from the process are passed through a centrifuge and dryer, with the resulting solids being used as animal feed. Biobutanol production is more complex and aggressive than similar processes, but produces several high-value products – hydrogen, CO2, acetone, ethanol and butanol – all from what would otherwise be low-value waste products.